So this is turn two, homework two, and it is a lot of revision on hexadecimal uh, notation. So make sure you've got a calculator to hand. Uh, it's very important that you don't do this in your head and that you double check your working. So the first question we have 4, 8, 12, 16 bit numbers that would take us a long time to calculate their decimal equivalents. Now in this case it's only asking us to convert to the hexadecimal equivalent. So just a quick reminder on hex is a, a 0 to 9 plus A to F code. So hopefully you can work out that that's 10 plus 6 characters. So hexadecimal is a 16 bit um, number representation which has many advantages um, over writing binary. First of all writing things like 4AF2 would be much more condensed and easier for humans to understand an error check than a 16-bit number. Um, it's also easy when you're checking over code to, when we're dealing with register numbers and um, to know our registers actual binary code um, based on representing it in hexadecimal, so it's much easier to check our code. They also use it for um, colours of pixels as well um, to make that a lot simpler. So the idea is it's a lot simpler for humans to read and understand and error check. So how do we do these 16-bit numbers then? Well, I will just invent one and I'll try and keep that a bit simpler. So we take each 4 bit number in turn which is known as a nibble so I've got 12 bits here, your first question is 16 and each piece we've got to work out what the binary equivalent is so for each of them it's not going up, they're all 1, 2, 4 and 8 so for this one we have 12 so if you think back to the first page we've got 0 to 9 and we have A, B, C, D, E and F so A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14 and F is 15. Now some of you might be confused as to why the number 16 is not there, but remember it starts from 0, so it's inclusive from 0. So for my uh, hexadecimal representation here, this number, or this nibble rather, would be, would be represented by a C. The next one is 14, which would be an E. And then the next one would be a 9, which doesn't go into the letter characters, so it would just be a 9. So the hexadecimal representation for that would be C, E, 9. So that should help you with question 1. Question 2, I guess, is kind of the opposite way around, taking a hex number. Um, so let's do F1, F3. Uh, or let's just change it so it's A3, so they're all different. Now we take each part and turn and write down that number as its uh, binary equivalent. So 3, 1, 1, 0, 0. Very straightforward. This relies on us remembering that A is 10. So we would end up with 1, 0, 1, 0. So that's 8 and 2 to give us 10. 1, very straightforward, 0, 0, 0, 1. And F was 15, which is 1, 1, 1, 1. So we can see that instead of having 16 bits written out, we can condense that really nicely into F1, A3. Much easier to error check than double checking this one, which I haven't done, so hopefully I'm correct, so let me know if I have uh, made any mistakes. Question 3, hopefully I've covered that in the explanations already, and then we go on to the more um, tricky uh, questions where we have 16 bit decimal numbers that we have to convert to our uh, decimal equivalents. So I'm actually just going to do the first one here. Now show you're working for this question. Work through this one with me. So we could do the, the very slow long way that we are used to but really that would just be silly. It takes too long. So what we want to do is convert it 
to hex first of all, so 3-3, three, three, and it's actually very straightforward, this one, I went to 4, and a uh, 7, so there's not any characters there, which doesn't make a difference, but what we do have is need to remember that this is a 16-bit number, and this is a nibble, so the maths we have here is actually 3 times 16 to the power 0, this one is 3 times 16 to the power 1, 4 times 16 to the power 2, and 7 times 16 uh, to the power 3. Hence why I need a calculator, so I'm just going to quickly work them out. So 16 uh, to the power, oops, 16. So 16 to the, the power 0. Hopefully you'll know as 1, and 3 times 1 is 3. Then we take 16 to the power 1 to give us 16. Multiply by 3 gives us 48. And then we take 16 to the power 2 to give us 256. Multiplied by the 4 gives us 1024. And then we take 16 to the power 3 multiplied by 7 to give us 28,672. And then for our final answer, we just total those up. So 28,602 plus 1024 plus 48 plus 3 gives us a total of 29,747 which would have taken us quite a while if we counted up that, the old way that we've been doing for um, all of our binary up until we learned about hex. Uh, last question's pretty straightforward. What is meant by a bit? Well, a bit is a 1 or a 0, and it's the smallest unit of memory in a computer system, and bit is short for binary digit. A nibble is 4 bits, and a byte is short for by 8, and that is 8 bits. So hopefully those are very straightforward too. Next one is all about expressions. Uh, so we have bits, hopefully you can remember the phrase, big boys kicked my granny twice painfully. Now the expression z start when we're representing how many bits are in a byte. Now we like, as humans, to keep things in groups of 10. So how many bytes are in a kilobyte? There's two to the power 10. Hopefully you can work out in your head that two to the power 10 is 1,024. For megabytes, there's two to the power 20, two to the power 30 for gigabytes, two to the power 40, two to the power 50, and so on. And hopefully that answers question six.